man. I am still not like functioning correctly after last night and what happened. All I feel safe saying is we got some hell coming our way. is going through hell just trying to fix his controller. <laughs> Not quite, but it is pretty irritating. Anyway, I got it fixed now, so we're good. Alright, welcome back to Endwalker, folks. I, of course, am Lupe Salondin, and once more, I bid you welcome. Last time around, we kicked Zodiark's ass. Excuse me. And we saw a glimpse of what is to come. This time, we're going to work towards saving everybody. But first, we got some pilots to meet. So, Lupe, take it away. Roger, let's talk to the Watcher. Uh, well, Amy, the moon is bright tonight. So I know you finished. Uh, I know Amy that you finished uh, the main side, the main story quest. Uh, I assume you're taking a break from playing Endwalker for a bit, from playing Final Fantasy XIV for a bit, I should say. Okay. <laughs> well, tell Sissy. Well, tell Sissy Lupe sends his love. Well, 
Whoops. There we go. Brother, I am about as ready as I can be. We got all kinds of fresh hell coming our way. Amy's pretty much right. In other words, no, I'm not ready. Oh man, look at that view though. Yeah, except for the big damn hole in the middle. Although, to be fair, I was uh, looking more towards Heidelin down uh, off in the distance there. Almost enough to make you forget that... Uh, that uh, the apocalypse is upon us.
Sure, I'd love that. Uh, give me a second, folks, to tab out. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Yako, you want in on this as well? The uh, the commentary. You want to jump in on Discord with Amy and myself? Sweet. I'll meet you guys inside the Fairy Tale Guild stream room. He says as I've been in here for the last five minutes. He says as I've been in here for the last five minutes. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you turn right off. Yeah, there you go. You hear my own voice? Yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> Alright. While we're waiting for uh, Byako to get in here, let's... Uh... For, uh, Bianco to get in here, let's, uh, for, uh, Bianco to get in here. There you go. There you go, I can see the stream without the voices. Yeah, there you go. I'm stuck in a 3,000 plus person queue. Jeebus Christ. Service stability, yo. Mm hmm. The good boy! He's no alpha, but he'll do. Appreciate the moon, Duggo. Oh, I do. I'm just saying, no one will ever He's top a... alpha. He's a good boy. Hey, there's Biako. Hey, Bray. Yeah, like. <laughs> oh lord. Uh, uh Biako, um, my mother didn't catch the B at the, at the start of your name, so she thought I said, "Where's Yako?" With the other Animaniacs? Yes, that's exactly what she said. She was gonna go, "Where's Where's uh Wacko and Dot?" Then Indianapolis, Indiana, and is the capital of Ohio. <laughs> yeah, I'm a lot better with Yakko's world than Wacko's capitals. I think his mic might be working. Ah, okay. Wow. So how'd you like the Zodiac? That was a fun fight. 
Like, honest to god, that was actually a... Uh, excuse me, fun fight. Did not see fun down you're doing that, to be honest. <laughs> the what now? I didn't see fun dickhead planning to do that. No, indeed. I thought he was gonna push Zeno somewhere. Well, same result. We're out one more Asian. Good. God, I hope we get to a certain point tonight because there's something I want to point out to you. Uh, Jade met the rabbit people. What's this about rabbit people? The boo. Oh. The boo buddies. Moon bum bum. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is the quest I'm on right now. Do you think I'll get to the to the point you're talking about by the time you uh by the time we end tonight? Uh maybe. Maybe. Because I know I'm in this stream for the long haul. This is going to be a long one tonight. No work tomorrow? No work tomorrow. No. Then you might get to it. It's just... <sighs> when I realized something about something, when something happened, I lost my fucking shit. In a good way or in a bad way? In a what the fuck way. Yes, the Zodiac fight was fucking nuts. Uh, try again, Biako. You wiped so much. I think I, I think I wiped like three or four times. Yeah, we did too. But we got it in just before the wire. Ah, net trouble. Okay. All right, that makes sense. Oof. Rip. Let's get F's in the chat for the samurai. Did anyone hear me? Hey, there you are. Come on. I'm very. The tiger the you're. Eat. You're not quite as uh, loud as I would like you to be, but we can at least hear you. Yeah, you might want to turn him up on your end. I will try that. Tabbing out for just a second, folks. All right. uh, Not now. Hey, That's that better. much better. Much better. All right. Very good. Back to that and back to this. Okay. And because of the net going out on me, that means I've been DC. Oof. Yep. How, how far along are you in uh, MSQ? Uh, pretty far. Let's just... Uh, let's just say I'm far enough to uh, get to the roll. Oof. Oh, I just... I did the first part of the physical rage DPS roll quest. That's fun. I'm... I'm actually getting through with the physical DPS roll quest. Nice. Well, I'm gonna save the rest of them for level I got my other classes. Alright. Well, that's gonna be quite a cue. Excuse me. My, my god. god. The dog's called Argos, and I laughed so hard when I heard that name. Uh, Argos. why? Because why? Because of the ship that Jason that Jason and the Argonauts piloted? No, because there's a star over here called Argos. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> oh, man. And I lost my goddamn shit when I heard that name. I'm like, oh my god. Oh, I bet you did. Uh, 
Wait, you got back in? Excuse me. Uh, I'm in, I'm in a queue, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. How many in front of you guys? 3,000 odd. Okay, I'm going uh, to pitch up. I need to post this picture, please. 4,000. <laughs> Jade, Shadu confirmed Lesbo. <laughs> I kind of had a feeling that Sadu was a Lasbo, considering he has a symptom for men. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my I god. Think we all, I think we all know the reason why for her. Honestly, the thing that did it for me was that she enjoys combat a little bit too much. <clears throat> no, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> this is another level. This is another level, my dude. <laughs> this is like legitimately a different level. He just called me out going so hard. <laughs> hey, her bloodlust rivals my own. I don't know about that. I'd say she's got you beat by a few leaks. <laughs> There's only one difference between her and myself. Her clan can be incarnated for one thing, and they're not afraid to die. Whereas you, on the other hand, at least have somewhat of a value of your own life. Keeping my god shut. Well, yeah. I mean, come on. It's one thing to die for glory, but it's always better to live the fight another day. Damn right. Besides, Any what's the greatest insult to your enemies? Living. Yes. They think they kill you, but then you just appear to them and say, try harder. I wanna post a picture but I can't. Any uh any fool can die in a blaze of glory. It takes a special kind of warrior to live in glory. I mean, granted, it's a little bit, uh... It's a little bit off due to the class, due to my main class, the mm. The whole thing is being to live by the sword to the die for and then maybe I need to grab another picture. Eventually, when I get it. More? But then, yeah, but then again, I ain't no samurai. I'm more simple than me. One. Two. Three. I demand you pet the dog. Thank you, Argos. We'll take things from here. Remind me to buy you some Emperor's new stuff. I've already got a set. Fucking use it! What? I like this outfit. I meant more for your jewelry. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't go with your, it doesn't go with your outfit. I just wait till we're all sporting the level 90 gear. There you go. Oh, well, exactly. Got it. Good. There you go. I pet the dog. You happy? Good. Yes. Okay. He's a good boy. Yes, Argos is a good boy. No way. Argos is not a good boy. Argos is the best boy. No, Alpha. Yeah, Alpha is best boy. Yeah, and no, Argos is best doggo boy. I'm also eating necklace in your rings. Whoops, I don't want to descent that. I just want to glam it. Mm. That would suck if you 
Yeah, alright. Maybe did Oh, just a heads up. There's eight currents in here. Yeah. Wait, in this in, in this building? Yes, and the fucking annoying to find. Mm-hmm. All right. Let me finish this quest, and I'll probably go looking. There's some you can't get to yet. Obviously, it's the freaking moon. <laughs> and I know damn well I can't get to that ether crystal yet, or ether right, I should say. Pretty. It's really bloody pretty in here. It is. Our moonship pilot should be around here somewhere. Is that right? You know, I bet some people may be wondering, why are there bunnies on the moon? And what is the significance of that? Well, other than the lore behind, uh, well, in Final Fantasy. Because you see, there's a name in Japanese that literally means moon bunny. Speak of the devil. That's Sima. Just, just watch Fankrit's face during this. Yep. Hi ho, hi ho. I'm on the way. Here we go. Pretty much. <laughs> Seriously, watch Franker's face during this go see, because it made me laugh so hard. You think that was funny? That almost made me remind me of the time where Stinian made a similar face when those alchemists were surrounding him. Oh god! <laughs> I have never seen a Stinian in such, in such a hilarious situation. Oh, bless him. Poking and prodding him. <laughs> and then asking about the congealed blood and his spear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bless him. Just a mic. How they all just peered out of nowhere around him. <laughs> when Aimbroker does comedy, they do it well. I mean, look at the Hildebrand series. True. We need more Hildebrand. We better get more Hildebrand. Yeah, I mean, also. I kind of get the slight reason why Hildebrand was not featured at first. Though he was featured briefly when doing the Grim Stop. Yeah, he is technically classed as a warrior of light. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which blows well, my he... mind. He well, is kind of. Well, oh, he is. Gentlemen of light, after all. Yeah, all the gentlemen of light, should I say? <laughs> also, if you know Final Fantasy IV, you really know the significance of these little guys. I do not, unfortunately. Let's see. Then you won't recognize any of the music in here. Yeah, I, I have not played Final Fantasy IV to be honest, but I do know a bit more. I know, I know, it's one of Nintendo Capri Sun's favorite games. Then you won't recognize the music in here, either, which is a shame. <laughs> is a rather curious crew you should have chosen. I actually did recognize a bit of the Final Fantasy, a bit of the Final Fantasy IV music as I heard it before. The one that I heard in particular <laughs> sounds a bit like the battle. Sounded a bit like the battle. Theme. It is the battle theme. Oh man, um, thank Thankwit's face, Thankwit's face <laughs> right now. Who spiked my bloody ale? <laughs> That's what made me laugh so hard. Like, he can't get over how cute they are. <laughs> well, let's face it. Can you blame him for making that kind of face? No. <laughs> no, he thinks he's on a bad acid trip. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't I, you? I'd be thinking that I'm on a bad acid trip if I see all four rabbits just come out of some kind of cryogenic machine. Never mind all that. On Never mind all that. The fact that they can talk. Yeah, that'll be 
I think that I've been. I think that someone may have made me smoke something in my sleep. <laughs> and this shit shocked people so much, yet we have six foot tall talking rabbit people. I think. I think it's more like this. We're more used to the Vera than we are to the Lopper. True. Also, honey. Yes. How full is your fucking inventory? Yeah, um. I'm looking at your inventory, um, gauge right now. You may want to run to your inventory, hon. Is there a summoning bell nearby? No. No, but you can go to an Aether, but you're in front of an Aether, right? You can attune to it, set it as a home point, and if you want, go someplace to sell this stuff. Mm-hmm. Also, send me them, um... Fucking... Faded music I'll make them for you. Oh, thanks. Oh, one other thing. Has anyone ever replaced their relic weapon so far? I have not yet, mainly because I don't have a weapon that is high enough eye level to replace it. I never finished mine, so yeah, I have. Well, I have not replaced my relic weapon at all. Because none were, none had a higher damaging rate than mine. And I'm pretty far into it. And I'm pretty far into it. Yeah, they did say they'd be the best of the while. Also, you need to repair your gear, too. So I, oh, yeah. so, uh, so I can get, uh, I actually, I don't think, did I meld anything? No, I, I never melded my gear. You might want to repair your ship first. Yeah. Alright, um, first things first, attune to this ether Yeah. Do you even have material to meld onto that ship? Um, I have a whole bunch of materia, but I don't know what would be best. Your tank, so crit, direct hit. Ask them. Ask them before you go melting shit on. I'm not gonna be needing those for anything. Wait, what are you throwing away at the. Don't throw that shit away! I don't need them anymore. I have what I can get out of them. You can use them on other classes. You can claim them and sell them. Hmm. I'm not going to be able if to. You, you can claim the chests on other classes. You can sell that. But yeah, send me um, faded music I'll make them for you and send them in your bag. Alright, cheers. Uh, best ways borrow. Okay. They had to take a hell of a time. Kick me out. Yeah, sadly. The servers are not going to be stable for a while. Yeah. I see you managed to get through the stealth mission, alright? Yeah. My only real issue was that, uh... The... What do you call it? The... Uh, 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 the stealth section was that the only issue I have with the stealth section was that the 
uh, the fuel tank that you need to activate the walker. There wasn't there wasn't really a hint as to where it was. Yeah, that was dumb. So yeah, the body snatcher. And they yeah. needed more. They needed more fucking med kits. I I think I think there is a slight reason for that. It may be dumb, and I might be stretching. I know it's probably a canonical reason, but it's still dumb. Yeah. Because those, because they hit hard, they they hit really hard. And... You're squishy. Well, I mean that's to be expected. You're not in your own body, and if you're not the warrior of light, you be squishy. That's why Zenos is gonna be the top of my shit list. If I ever do find him, why do I have two of those? Because you probably picked two up. I'm also going to send you some uh, furniture items that we may be able to use for the house. Cool. Go for it. Why is it always carrots? I didn't even eat carrots. They're rabbits. Yeah. Let They're me rabbits. let me have my Atlantis reference, damn it. <laughs> oh, nearest merchant up in the square. These are useless since I have no intention of running those dungeons again. You know you have a chocobo saddlebag, right? You were saying? Oh God, Lupe. You were saying? Do you not have a retainer? Again, 
you were saying? Okay, honey, we need to go through your shit. <laughs> we ain't got time for that. The world's about to end. After the world's not ending. <laughs> yes, after we have, yes, after we have saved the world, we will go through my shit. Yeah, really, because Look at that shit. <laughs> I can guarantee you half of that shit you don't need. More likely than not. But I never I've never really thought I was in a position to judge what I do and don't need. And most of the time I forget what's even in there. Yeah, we're going through your shit. How the hell did I open that? Okay. Uh... Random piece of rice. Okay. Uh... Ah, ether currents. That's what I was doing. Oh god, yeah. The what motorcycle? Then right. Then right. Because it's it has the it has well, the unique first gear ability. Pretty much, no matter where you go, no matter where you go in a land where you, in a way, haven't gotten like a like full mount speed. It'll treat it as though you have one star. Meaning you can actually go slightly faster than the other. Oh. Yeah. Well, now I know why people give a shit about that bike. That's why so many people are riding that ride. Me. I could get. I could care. I could probably care more about it than I do. <laughs> Doesn't really matter to me. I'll give you two reasons. I'll give so, you two. so what you're saying is... Drive. So what you're saying is somebody needs to get you for Christmas. I mean, I wouldn't say no if you decided to... I'd, I'd be grateful, but... It wouldn't... It's not really a make or break for me. Did you claim your Edgewalker stuff yet? Uh, I have not yet. Uh, I didn't- I checked the delivery Moogle and I did not see a letter for it. Did you claim it on the box station? I thought I did. Did you- Did you register for normal access? Yes. Yeah, then you should have got your stuff. Did you get the collector's edition? I don't think so. Then you won't get the mount then. You won't get the mount then. Unless you got the mount, unless you got the collector's edition, you don't get the extra stuff. Eh, it's whatever. Oh, I got a chance to ride on at on uh, Arion. Dude, what the? Look at that horse's face. Two hundred and eighty-nine yards to the east. That will take me out of the building. So, I think we have yeah. all the ether currents we're gonna find in the building. No, you don't. Uh, uh, not really. They're just ones you can't get to yet. Just progress to the MSQ, you'll get to new areas where you can find more ether points. If I can actually get online, I'll come and join you. I would like that. And preferably without your computer borking itself.
Well, I'm gonna call out something. Mm hmm. Something telling me there's gonna be Lopers approaching. He's gonna be flying off soon. Huh? Lopers, you know, Lopers approaching. Oh, if they're already. Moogles, got the chocobos, hell, you even got the tom berries. Oh, yeah, I can guarantee you those are fucking coming. Yeah, let's not forget Poo the alien. <laughs> if they brought an Argos plushie out, that'd be it for me, but like, I won't. Give. I have a mighty need. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, and the cactar plushie. Although, cactars are basically the mascots of the game. Well, I would have thought Moogles wanna... were. No. Cactars have been the. Cactars have been the fucking. Well, cactars are Moogles, really. Yeah. Cactars, right, so five twenty-five eye level. So I can actually start replacing my. Uh, uh, in terms of stats, I can start replacing my uh, blades gear. Well, if you get chests that are, if you get chests, claim them. If they, if they're better, use them. If not, just sell them on the market. Mm -hmm. Never forget, you can always claim them. Yep. Mm. Mm. Excuse me. So I get the feeling I know what you're gonna use as your next chat cover. The what now? I know what you're gonna use as your new chat cover. Oh, right. Right between the words. Just like, excuse me, I gotta get to work. Wait, Biako, how far are you into the MSQ? Um, I am far, I am far enough to uh, be at a PC. Where? Uh, I don't know oh. how to say how far I am without making a spoiler. DM me. Okay. Wondering if you near your. That first option. <laughs> Were you the one giving orders earlier? Just how old are you people? Do you really want to know? 
Probably not. Wireless keyboard. Let me ask you this, Bianca. Have you, have you met the bean? Which bean? Blue bean. Blue bean? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you're not where I was hoping you were then. I can say that I've made it as far to the MSQ to unlock the rule. Yeah, you're not there yet. Yeah. Because for some reason, my wireless keyboard wants to act up. So watching this guy move about the yard. I thought you were gonna say while well, I'm watching Matlock. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind watching Matlock. That shows the shit. <laughs> I just I would not mind watching Matlock at all. <laughs> From what I hear, it's a good show. I just blew Ami's mind. <laughs> Not that it's that hard. I mean, what? <laughs> I think I broke her. <laughs> I kid, of course. I love Ami. She's great. She's great people. Yeah, I just don't give her head pads. <laughs> Really. So does this one for whatever reason. Another name that I came up with is or, uh, for the Lufferets. I made fun of them calling them out of touch. <laughs> You're out of touch. I'm out of time. <laughs> You're gonna see why. By mine own hand. <laughs> A 
acutely aware of the imminent crisis, your parents set you in a classic song on a while they head. began the necessary preparations. Look, seriously, how old are these You're people? Not following? No? Very well. I shall allow The Lothlings? The best estimate I can give would be thousands of years old. Yeah. There is no exact date. There's no exact date as to when they were created. There is no exact number as to how long they lived. Here, we have a fence. All Your that is guaranteed is that they've been around have. for thousands of years. Without Zodiac around to keep things lively, so to speak, the celestial currents of the star have doubtless begun to degrade. And as you may have heard, all part of uh, all part of Heidel one of Heidelin's intentions. Yep. So too hath the Watcher claimed. By thine unperturbed countenance, I gather this eventuality was anticipated. You know, they they have the Japanese thing that translates out to moon bunnies, but honestly, when I listen to these peop these things talk, I get more the impression of the mice from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, well, for all we know, that could be one of the inspirations. <laughs> well, I mean, so long and thanks for all the fish. What are you laughing about, Amy? The most earnest wishes Just proving a point to Amy. Who's now not talking to me, I don't think. Sneak a few carrots while nobody was looking. <laughs> Moreover, the ship can only travel yeah, short bursts. We intend to go down our list, hopping from star to star, until we find one suitable for resettlement. No need to worry, though. The vessel is being refurbished with accommodation for an extended stay as we speak. 
Then, look at the names that we have. Living Way, Mapping Way. Hmm. From who? By our own standards, anyway. And I very much doubt my elders know this place exists, much less how to send you so much as a starlight missive. What? Then who in blazes let you on my moon? <laughs> Hydalin herself led you here. Well, Amarot teams were a great deal taller. In the present day, persons of such prodigious size are exceedingly rare. So, you're saying everyone's not like the Watcher? Oh, confound it all! Someone could have at least scribbled a note about your profile. That tome in thy possession. Oh, this? One of the first yep. books sent to come. us. A compendium of the people of Atheris, with a few blank pages at the back for minor corrections and updates as needed. The sum total of our knowledge of your kind is contained in these pages. I thought it was abridged and made small for our benefit, but... This isn't a regular sized book, is it? <coughs> These are our pilots. Calling them the out of touch tribe. <laughs> Perhaps you could tell us you a bit see how more severely out of touch. I say again. You're out of touch. I'm out of time. That's a good question. No way Wheaties could be made back then. They had giant itis, duh. Giant <laughs> they had acromegaly. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a world full of big shows and Andre the Giants. Yeah. <laughs>
somebody's got food. Mm. Somebody's got chips. My neighbor brought me a couple of brownies. Hey, nice. She's a raging lesbian? No. Although that is true. Yeah, that yeah. is true. And we do so and we do mean a raging lesbian. Hold on, raging lesbian. But what I mean is that if your warrior of light is male. She ain't gonna talk much shit. She may be bloodthirsty, but even she knows. Does she act differently towards a male warrior of light then? Actually, she Actually. does. She pretty much treats the warrior of light the same, same. no matter if they're male or female. Well, that'll make Lorraine yeah. sad. <laughs> I totally ship her with that other arrow. I can't remember her name. The du the um not Reen, what's the other one called? Zela? The Z the Zela or Pinker. Oh Maul! <laughs> I mean uh Serena, oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, Serena, yeah, she's of the mall. Yeah, Serena. They're totally dating. <laughs> I love I love Serena. She's such a sweetheart. She is. Oh yeah. She's a border. Poor Magni though, when will he find his Nama? <laughs> will he ever find his will he ever find his moon? Well, not if he's being the little son. God Yishtola destroyed him. Although, I can't deny that he's got some taste of women. Oh, God, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's got good taste. That he, he does. Also, he also did turn around to a blind woman and say, look into my eyes. Like... <laughs> my dude. Read the room. <laughs> well, let, let's cut him some slack. He, he probably did know that she was blind. He's not exactly the. Uh... So that's the fi so that's the Final Fantasy IV battle music. Let me have a listen. I remember just a little bit of the. Line for Final Fantasy IV. That. Yep. As it was, as uh, Scott sounds was like. Back. Sounds like they pulled it straight from the game files. <laughs> they probably did. Uh, they pulled it straight from the, straight from the files and gave it a little bit of a cleanup. Mhm. Mm to think. The big whale that we get will be the other big whale for Final Fantasy IV as well. Again, the only big whale I know is from Final Fantasy X. You 
Yeah. Is that thing really a whale, though? It certainly uh, looks. It it does? Certainly looks enough like one. Well, it does kind of resemble a whale when, when you look at mainly its more frontal facial features. Yes. I wouldn't say it's a whale. Would say that it kind of resembles one. Yes. And it's unfortunate that no one in either in Final Fantasy, I think in Final Fantasy Ten, too bad that they're not even re referencing a airship that they found that resembles. That seems to look like a whale. That would have been a nice little bit of a Final Fantasy IV reference there. You mean Ragnarok? No. I'm talking about the Lunar Whale. They found a ship in Tantu that looks like a whale? No, I'm saying that. That they should have added that in there. A reference to the Lunar Whale. Because I do know that Ten Two does have its fair share of references from a few other Final Fantasies. As so, is as is kind of the case with the entire series. Yeah, I'm just yeah. trying to get where you fit a Final Fantasy IV reference in though. So I said there should have been one. They really didn't. Like, yeah, like there, is, like there isn't one, but there should have been one. There would be no way to put one. Actually, there would be a way, considering that the lunar whale is an airship, and it would be considered ancient. Hmm. Um, does it matter which carrot I eat? No, it it doesn't matter which character you eat, but I eat that carrot. Doesn't matter which carrot you eat, but you do get to learn a little bit of, about that specific carrot, and then afterwards you learn about all. The things. Oh, okay. I will now. I, now, since you're doing this one, I can give a spoiler about this one. The if you eat the blue carrot, that's called a philosopher. Hmm. The uh, Amy, uh, which carrot did you? The blue one. You also eat the philosophy, huh? I mm -hmm. I tried for the yellow one and it uh, did not let me. <laughs> All right. As soon as you do now, as soon as you do go over to the objective point, to the mission point, you will be able to learn more about. The okay. I can tell you about the philosopher's character. Pretty much the Philosopher's Carrot is made to, in a way, increase, me increase mental proficiency. Which will be a huge uh, necessity on this long trip that they're planning. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what the Yellow Carrot does. I do remember that the Red Carrot is set to improve blood flow. But Cooking Way can explain it better. Yeah. That's the second lobby area you've given me, game. <laughs> or at least a second roll should the dice treat you poorly. The lucky carrot! I picked the lucky carrot. I think I'm about to get the one. How come you feel lucky? Bleeding carrots to improve blood flow. Dream carrots to help with sleep. Yep. Oh boy. Pretty much these are carrots that are engineered with medicinal purposes. 
These carrots are extraordinary. Indeed they are. And luckily, I, I love eating carrots. You'd get sick of it after a week. Not me. If you had nothing but carrots. I had nothing but carrots? Yeah, I would not get sick of it. I mean, granted, yeah, I would like to taste of something else, but I ain't planning. Well, you wouldn't decline, but you would get fed up with it eventually. Alright, how far back in the queue do you fucking put me? You do not realize how much I like carrots. 2,000 people. Fucking hell. You're talking to a guy who was born under the Chinese zodiac of the rat. <laughs> Fair. I'm a horse. I thought you were Lupe. <laughs> Nay. <laughs> <laughs> hey. So I married a male Luca? Um, wait, a male who? Luca. Oh, from uh, Chrono Trigger. <laughs> you do know who Luca Jens is, right? Oh, sorry, that Luca. Sorry, I know a couple of I know a couple of different Lucas. No, Luca, as in horse mom. Okay. Yeah, I probably ain't getting on this again tonight. Got kicked to 2,500 people, just got back into 4.99. Oof. Yako? I think his net might have gone. Ah. <laughs> Your stole is not a carrot girl, huh? <laughs> He's a cat. What does that tell you? Not a lot, honestly. I'm not big I'm not uh too knowledgeable on cat biology. Yep, sure enough. Da, da, da. Cats are omnivores, not herbivores. They like the meat. And also, yeah, if, the, if it hasn't become clear to you yet, they have nothing but carrots on the ship. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Yastola kind of uh, made that pretty clear. Okay, then.
Yeah, isn't it again? Why do I have the feel? Why do I get the feeling that their wardrobe is about as varied as their food selection? <laughs> oh, I love this quest. Welcome back, Yako. Pick which other one you want. Something simple yet functional. That's the one I went for. I am going to kill my dad. Hey Spectrum, get on your shit. In my case, this is some of the people. Inspections. For I mean, for I mean, hon. Now I'm very likely going to be booted right back. Oh, not as bad as I thought, at least. Hmm. I mean, it's. I mean, it's 2000. 227, but I thought it would be a little higher. How the hell did you get 2,227 and I got 4,099? God damn. I don't know. Also, Lupe, when you get out of this cutscene, do me a favor and put your headgear on. Until I can get my level 90 gear. Now look at yourself. I might be sticking with my ratio. My uh, ratio. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Well, welcome to Amorai. How can I help you? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna slip this off. <laughs> I said I'm just gonna. S <laughs> <laughs> oh, just wait till later. You're gonna see some uh, <laughs> some elegance. Oh god, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You are going to see some progressive changes for the modern Ethereum. Which, I think now you should know that the planet is not really called Hydalid. The planet is called Ethereus. Yep. Well. And there's a huge thing about that later. Mm -hmm. Got anything with a little more flair?
I chose. I'm looking for clothes with the with a different design. <laughs> Thanks to one, I ended up had some leopards had some leopard spots on it. Yeah, that's what Lupe's got. Please put your headgear back on. The headgear <laughs> makes the outfit. That is, that is the very same one I got. Yeah. That just looks sad, doesn't it? The headgear just makes the goddamn outfit so much funnier. I thought I was running past a bomb. <laughs> Got a little ball right there. And before you ask, yes, those mobs do have rabbit ears. Okay, so I wasn't crazy. Well, no. No. Well, jury's still out on whether or not I'm crazy, but I wasn't imagining things there. No. I thought the same thing when I first saw them. I'm like, no, th those can't be rabbit. Is. No, they're rabbit. Is. I just simply didn't give a damn. If one attacked me, I turned to the scrap. Oh, that's what I did. If one attacked me, but. Fluffy scrap. A nice, a nice boing. little. Boing. 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 I thought you were a cat, not a rat. Um, Cats got hops. Hey, have you ever seen a cat jumping about? Yes, I have. Have you ever seen a corgi about? Hmm? Have you ever seen a corgi jumping about? Oh my god, he has. The hilarious. My wife oh, for corgis. Putting a corgi on a trampoline is funny. They love it. All right, what fresh hell am I in for? <laughs> okay, Orion J's actually kind of works. Oh my god! Yeah, I I actually kind of like Orion J's. That's not bad. Lupe, if I ever see you glammed in an outfit like that in those colors, I'm divorcing you. You heard your woman. <laughs> uh, thanks for the easy way out. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I can actually see her seating. <laughs> Come on, she wa She completely walked into it. <laughs> oh, hold on for a minute. I gotta do something. Oh wait. Did she just leave? She yeah. Left call? Yeah, she did. Either she's pissed or her net's giving her trouble. One of those two. But now it's my turn to uh, be the best.
my god. Oh, I can't wait for Byako to see this when he comes back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see what? He'll see it straight away. Don't you worry about it. Uh-huh. What are you on about? You get from in queue this time. I feel like I spent more time in queuing Savage than I have playing the fucking game. That sounds accurate. I can't that without many people constantly queuing to get onto a server. What's up with you, little fella? What they should have done was turn the wall visit off and walk up. <laughs> see? I knew he'd see it straight away. <laughs> Oh, you gotta love this girl, eh, Biako? Little cat girl on the market. Uh, who, who wants a really angry cat girl? Wants a really angry cat girl. Wants the angry cat. <laughs> angry jilted cat girl free to a good home. <laughs> Why do I now picture her choking the hell out of me? Never mind Jade. <laughs> oh boy. I can feel a seeding glare. <laughs> no. Oh, this is great. I think she's gonna kill us both. I'm not gonna kill you, Bianca. I'm just I'm not gonna kill Lupe either, like I said. Divorce. <laughs> Static 
flute going on in your end, maybe. It almost sounds like uh, heavy breathing. Oh, hey. I said heavy breathing, not Darth Vader. I do not sound like that. It's the best appro uh, it's the best it's the best approximation I can muster, Lord Vader. <laughs> I'd imagine it's a little odd to go to the fresher in that. <laughs> yeah, seriously though, Aim, admit it to yourself. You completely walked into that. <laughs> yeah, and you completely walked into your divorce. <laughs> Wait till you get through. Wait till you get. Wait till it gets through the final day. Then discuss the divorce with them. I've been through the final days. You have, yes. I have not. Not it. So you're gonna have to stay married for a little while longer. I can't even get in the fucking game currently. <laughs> I'll either get in lobby errors or DX11 errors. I think the only lobby error I, I had was like the, when I first started to. When I first started to go in immediately after work one time when I came up to 10. I think the full strike. Very likely, Friday and Saturday will be the only days where I won't play, uh, I won't play 14 late at night. Crocky! <laughs> She types like that pretty much all the time. I think she's got some anger issues she needs to work out. <laughs> um, Lupe, you are the anger issue. You are basically getting extremely fucking hell. Five thousand one hundred and five. <laughs> in Q, you also you're about to get an angry admin call. Oof. Boss. None of them are 
rest of the DM. Hang on. Uh oh. Hang on. Run for the hills, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, I think I need to put that off. Ignoring you. Little baby, you get your ass over here and face the music. What music? She's not in bard form at the moment. <laughs> Damn. All right, guys. All right, that's it. coming off. Amy, hold my hat. Get over here. Bless you, by Welcome the way. Welcome to everyone. Like Jesus Christ. I'm like, I've seen some pretty bad low level gear in terms of like, you know, like wearing stuff for like low level, but this is just ridiculous, you know? We can, we will do better. But time is not on our side. I'm just like, what the hell is this? What the final days will wait for no one. I mean, not that I can see what they were going for, but oh my god. Well, I mean yeah. to be fair. Well, I mean to be fair, they were preparing for an entirely different race. And yes, yeah. but at the same time, somebody didn't this educate them the time to change. As many passengers as possible. That's why I always call the lumberers the out of touch. To my yeah, they really are. I'm like, yeah, same. I'm, like, I'm like, uh, vest, please. I kind of need that. These are a little too warm for me. <laughs> like, please, just give me back my goddamn hood. I simply just held my tongue, waited until I got my normal outfit back again, and started trashing some of their shit. <laughs> The sad thing is, the chest piece is low-level gear stuff for healers. Yeah, I know. But, like, the cheetah print made it even worse! You could at least have something with tiger stripes. No, they don't. And plus, Arianji does not exactly have a good fashion sense. Come again? Yeah, he doesn't. No. Most of the time. Ah, uh, idle musings. It is no trifle thou dost I, ask. I've seen bad, I've seen, like, bad gear and, and everything, necessity. but, like, oh my god, I just remembered something. 
Maybe I have to DM you really quickly, like a screenshot that I had taken when I was when I did the 85 dungeon with Will, and I need you to and I need to send Hi. I need to send you a caption that he said specifically with it. Hold on a second. Oh god. Well, hey, I mean, you fancy hitting the clubs later if we ever get online? <laughs> oh, dear me. Stars in chat. Dear me. I was terribly sorry for the mix up. Nice <laughs> <laughs> it's a Basically, the Blue Pay did the fashion the thing with the lop on, with the bunny people. And he said he liked Ariane's outfit, and I said if I ever catch him in that outfit, I will divorce him. He said thanks to the easy way out, so I'm divorcing his ass. <laughs> I'm just grateful my fiance piece? would never wear so, something like that, because even he said that it was awful. Uh, won't happen again, I promise. But yeah, Amy, uh, I, I think you can tell which is Will in that screenshot. Oh, very easily. You, you want to know what he said when we were going through that dungeon, by the way, when he was getting that gear? Mm hmm I, I, I'm going to just, like, write this out because I'm going to write this out DM instead. <laughs> that bad? No, it's funny, but, like, it, 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 it's a spoiler. For, it, it, I, I'm going to count this as a spoiler because it's, it's mentioning the 75 dungeon and also the gear in and of itself, but anyways. Ah. Huh. Oh my god, he does. <laughs> I know! I know! I oh my god. I didn't get a good look until, until that cutscene, and I just lost my shit after that. I'm like, oh my god, where was what you said earlier with the gear? You were so right! I just lost my shit for a good minute or so after that. I'm like, you did more than lose your shit. It's not like you ruptured your stomach. Breathe, girl, breathe. I'm fine, just... The crap that's come out of, my, that's come out of Willis' mouth this expansion is just hilarious. That's, that's one of them. That's kind of his shtick. I thought that's why you married him. Well, I was but, referring to in game, but whatever. <laughs> we're not married in game yet, but that's anyway, but that's besides the point. Amy, oh my god, okay, okay. I have to mention also what he said when the bunnies first came out. Because we're all at this point now. Go on. I was I was ahead of him at that point, so I knew about the Lobroy. I walked in with him when he went when he first went to uh the burrow. And he's like, Oh! I'm like, yeah, bunnies. And he follows up with, well, you procreated like them, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> also, yes, the ugly ass thing, Jenny. <laughs> and here I was thinking she appreciated my sense of humor. And I, and I'd be like you, and I and I'd be like and I and I'd be like, hey, you didn't marry me for my fashion sense. Um. Scar in the chat. Just watch her jump onto Gira's arm and be like, 
Bye, Lupe. At least he has better fashion sense. <laughs> to which I would reply, Hey, you never married me for my fashion sense. Holy shit, is it ever? My Reishi gland comes with, us, comes with a scarf. I guess that makes me and Gira scarf buddies. I'm still not over the burger scene. I'm going to have a GM you something. the same fucking thing. <laughs> breathe, girl. Breathe. I didn't I broke her. God, the fangirl energy is so strong in this one. <laughs> Jeez, and I thought... I thought Aki Crush having a huge having a huge thing for a Stinian was bad enough. Yes. <laughs> it's just that face alone. I didn't know I needed that in my life. Oh, I went back and watched Is he past that scene yet? Okay, thank you. I, yeah, I, I have like, I have all my screenshots so they're actually in chronological order of the story, so, uh, no, he's not past me yet. I'm not gonna do Jen, don't worry. Also, yeah, I agree, Fancred is too. Just like the boyfriend energy in this X pack is horrendous, and it's just like, give us two. Square, just give them to us. Please? Like everyone wants a piece of the warrior of life. I mean, yeah, but like. Amy, there's something else I have to mention earlier. You know how I mentioned, like. I, oh god, I, I can't say this stuff out loud, but like, there's stuff that I. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Um. Carrots! It's what's for dinner. <laughs> Anyways, hi. This is what fairy tale looks like. You have the Graha Sims, which are myself and Amy. Hi. I I don't care. Willis makes fun of me for it, by the way. <laughs> Fetch says, and Thanquid Simp. Hi. <laughs> I'm just the Graha Simp. Y'all can have Thanquid. You guys can have Thanquid. You guys can have Orange. Like, they're good characters, but I would not simp. Uh, huh. Thank you will always have a special place in my heart, bless him. Uh, I, I, I got 2002 error. Again? Oh, fuck's sake, so did I. Uh, something hard to think Red and Odeon J. <laughs> I 
They really do give off that energy for them too. The boyfriend energy? Yes. See all the things I want to say, but I can't. <gasps> Look, Amy, I'm at the door to the 89 dungeon, basically. So you, I, I will be there soon. If I can just get into the bloody game. I don't even know if you're past that great yet. Uh... Oh, you will when you see that, what I'm thinking of. Good news, I'm back in the queue! Same. There's things that... Oh, this X pack fuck me. It made me hate this game in all the right ways. Q screen. What, num what number are you, Army? Oh, thanks for the host! Uh, I'm 2,373. But, how the f. I'm 4,417. I was 4,000 earlier, but, like, the queue has. Like, the queue went by pretty quickly, and then. Uh, yeah. I keep getting 2,002 error, it's just like. There can't be this many people in fucking queue. There is. I, mm, I don't... It's bad enough that also Barry exploded earlier, which I was just like, oh my god. Oh yeah. What even happened there? I have no, like... I, let, let, let it's like, all of a sudden, Barry just blacked out. Let, let me pull up the lodestone post again, because I... So in other words, oh. so in other words, yeah. pretty much the entire you know server. Need? So in other words, you know pretty much the need? entire server shit itself. Yeah. yeah. You know what they need to do, really? Turn data oh, seven travel off. Turn server travel off. You mean world visit? Yeah. Turn the world visit system off. But yeah, temporarily. Have... No, they had it on to, in the first place, so that way if like a world was like heavily congested and somebody could log in, they could go. They Yeah, it's fucking people over. They need to tell everybody to go back to their old servers and turn it off. I bet you that'll lead congestion a hell of a lot for servers. Yeah. At least world visits, at least data center visits not a thing, or else, oh my god, we'd be shitty. Like, the if... server would be shitting itself more. I'm glad they didn't do that. The launch of that market, because holy shit, that'd be bad. Well, so... been... There's a joke I've been saying, by the way, but I can't say it, what it is specifically because there's a couple in here that are not at that point yet. Which, Amy, I'll DM you the joke, by the way, because it's actually kind of funny with what I've been saying. It's like, yeah, if they turn World Wizard off, I really think it would ease a server congestion. Login servers? They mm -hmm. fucking turn it off! That's so dumb! No wonder people are having 
so much issues. Tell oh, people to go put on their instrument out. Okay, Duty Finder, you can't help. Yeah, Duty Finder, you can't help. Party Finder, you can't help. Those are fine. But the but, login, though, turn that off! But tell, like, put on an instrument out. Go back to your old servers. We're turning World Wizard off to help ease the congestion. No wonder the people are having so much fucking issues. I heard it took somebody five hours to get back to their own server the other day. Ugh. Yeah, that's why they turned all the demolition off. Yeah, I mean, which makes sense. But yeah, if I the mean... if the world if world was it uses the same as the servers as the logins, turn it off. I don't think people would complain. They complained if, if Duty Finder or Party Finder was disabled for that, but... I mean, they kind, of, they kind of can't because you need it for trials and shit. Yeah. Yeah. This, this, this ain't a rogue reform. We don't need a repeat of that. But yeah, if... If... That's so dumb, you'd think they'd turn that off. I don't... I don't know. So yeah, it's not 4,000 people in queue to log in. It's 4,000 people in Duty Finder... Party Finder and World Visits. See, now that, that makes, now more that sense. Makes, like that makes a lot more sense now, because I was I was just like, this can't be like all the people to just get into the world. Yeah, like, that makes no. That makes more. That makes a hell of a lot more sense. Oh yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Right, fucking turn it off. When shit's calmed down. I've seen a few of them in Novice Network. Um, I also had like name tags off for people that weren't in my party or on my friends list. Like, Same. Ways. Like, I like how people were telling me to do that and I'm like, I already had it off to begin with because I can't see shit. Oh, I don't, oh, I know, but I know a few people that hadn't also. When I was on phone for it earlier, of course people were spoiling shit in their show chats like, Hey, yeah, there we go. That's fun for it for you. Wow, what a bunch of assholes. That's some respect. Jesus Christ. There's some re assholes on fun for it. Like, I. This is. A, it, this is also why I've been, like, avoid. Like, so, uh, this is why I had to hide those chats as well as, you know, I've been staying off of my Twitters and also YouTube because those can be cesspools for spoilers. <laughs> Luckily, I've not seen anything on YouTube. I... The only times I've gone onto YouTube is to check the analytics on the video that I made for Shadowbringers, which is actually really well. But other than that, I've been very careful and very lucky. Yeah, Ultros is especially bad, sadly. And just think, you think this is bad now? Wait until DC Center Travel comes out. Please, no. Please, no. No. Boss, NA and EU data centers are down again. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Demetrius keeps sending that okay because. I know, it's funny. Because it's real! But yeah, I can. Everybody's gonna pile over to Ferry. Everybody's gonna pile over to fucking Aether in general. Well, I Aether in general. Yeah, that's why. I'll give you three reasons why they're gonna pile on to Aether Luca, Asmon, and Rich. Alright, Luca and Asmund, I know. Who's rich? Is another big ex-wife. Well, not I say ex, but he's 
He still does. He streams wire and shit. Ah. And he's an esports commentator. He's friends with us, man. Amy, we also have to keep in mind we also have Larry over here as well. Yeah, and a lot of Ness. Uh, would that be would that be would that be Larry Zor or Larry Bundy Jr.? Larry Zor. Okay. Wait, I thought I thought um Ness was over on Primal. No, Ness have Aether Alts as well. Yep. Yeah, and then also, uh, Spoofy's, prob Spoofy's probably over here as well. Yeah, Spoofy's over here as well. Um, uh, Cory? Do we know well, if Cory has an ult? I think he has an ult, but I don't know if he's on Aether or not. I think, what about Drac? Drac has an Aether ult, I'm pretty sure of it. I think I ran a dungeon with him the other day, actually. I don't know if Raya streams though. No, 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 no. Raya does stream. I, I've seen a few of the Ness videos where Raya has actually mentioned, like, you know, chat. I think Sam has an A for all. I think so, yeah. So, yeah, A for pretty much fucked. I just. I, I know people want to play with the big people, but what about the rest of us that didn't know that they were here to begin with? It's just like, oh! Wait, the V Shoujo girls are over here as fucking no wonder are having issues. Oh god. And let's not forget Chromia. Look, oh Exercise god. always helps me relax. Wait, why is why are they on Aether? Why aren't they on the Japanese servers? Okay, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. I do not care if a well known is like on the same data center as I am, like I can give less of a crap. But here's where it becomes a problem. When the fanboys and the fangirls think it's okay to not only disrupt their gameplay, but the rest of the people. Mm -hmm. It's like, come on! Like there's some of us here that don't care that they're here. Like, yeah, sure, they're here. There might be a possibility that we'll bump into them. Okay, cool, I'm not gonna lose my fucking shit about it. Like, they're normal people as well! Leave them alone! Yeah, I'm thinking of each other. Uh, Paul, I... Like, leave yeah. them alone and leave us yeah. alone! What they need to do is stop going all the... coming onto the same DC. Spread yourselves out. Rich and Asman did, and that's what fucked Aether up royally. Travel and exploration of the unknown can be quite exhilarating. I think they chose Aether specifically because of it being a... I did not mean to say fighting. Like, he spammed it. Huh? What was that? He spammed... He what he was saying. Oh. He did what I did. Like, I think they chose Aether specifically because it's just like, it's the well-known rating data center. I mean, I've been seeing people in the overworld as I've been doing the Endwalker quest with like, Ultima, um, uh, Bahamut, and Alexander weapons. Like, pretty heavily, actually. I didn't realize it was actually that common to have a They chose Aether because everywhere else is full. I find that hard to believe because... I was at Asmund's stream when he was trying to make a character everywhere else was full. Because he was streaming, so everyone was trying to get on to... Everyone was trying to get online and it was blocking him from making a character. Mm -hmm. And so when he managed to get on Aether, everybody piled on Aether.
That's why a lot of streamers do that. To keep it hidden? Yeah. So not to destroy the data center. But you know, smart for them. Yeah. Welcome back, Bianca. Question, did you dye your sword or is it always that color? Uh, my what? My sword? Yes. It's always that color. Pretty. I have returned with you. Nice! It is the relic weapon. I'm never gonna finish my relic. <laughs> I actually... Um... Too much fucking hassle. I mean, the glam. <laughs> okay, like, glam's a thing, hon. I know, but it's just like, I'm just like, at least it's just like, Yeah. It's like, I love the relic weapons, but... <sighs> Fuck it, it's way too much grinding. Wait, what? And uh, yes, yes, fetch. It is the Final Fantasy IV battle theme, the the battle theme here on the moon. Yep. Uh, the, the first trial, you're talking about the first trial of Endwalker, right? Yes. Okay, so you were fighting Zodiac's ass. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Fun fight, by the way, that. Huh? Fun fight, by the way, that. Yeah, good luck with fucking the axe. Also, one complaint I do have about M Walker that I hope they do actually fix is mobs hit way too fucking hard. 
like. I haven't been noticing an issue. I, I... Yeah, that's get into uh... the get into the eighty nine dungeon and tell me that. Oh, so she's like literally right before the point where it would start to become a problem. The eighty nine and later. Yes. Hmm. They hit like fucking trucks. Like we thought Endwalker was bad. Well, uh, when, when, I get, when I get out of uh, Lobby Break or Ultimate, then I'll let you know. Like, we, we thought Dryden Song was the next Ultimate. Nah, man, the fucking Q was the next Ultimate. Run, <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, wait. Wait until that fucking comes out, and then we're gonna have DDoS ultimate. Oh, <laughs> no, I mean Shadowbringers. You said Echo. I meant Shadowbringers. Also, um, I, as I've been doing like more, like I've been noticing, uh, I, I, I haven't had a chance to like fully reward changes, and I'm noticing. It was so nice when I saw that. Also, they really fucking nerfed Dancer's potency. Jesus. So, Bard is back in a good place? Oh, god, gotcha. yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Those two quality of life changes I've wanted ever since Stormblood. I'm like, why don't I get this buff? Yeah, but why don't I get this? I want this. This yeah. actually will be benef beneficial because the only two buffs that I get are Barrage and Pregnant Strikes, which fall under your burst I never understood why bars couldn't hear their own music. That was dumb. I don't know. I'm just yeah. glad that they finally made that change, and I'm like, thank you. These are these are two quality of life changes I wanted, and everything else they've done thus far, with the increase in the dots and increase in the song, and all of the upgrades are beautiful. Yeah, they really nerfed Dancer's potency, and it's so dumb. No, I mean, it is like, they need to rebalance Dancer, because they nerfed it too hard. So, so far, I haven't seen too much of a problem with Samurai. Which, by, which, by the way, Byako, are you excited to have your first student? Oh, yes. I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through, um... End game content. Yeah, we gotta get through all that. And then wonder what server to use to even create my little server. Uh, dude, unless I've missed something, I'm your first student. Ah, <laughs> uh, so you wish to learn from the master, huh? Well, once, once I max out the four classes I currently have, yes. That's exactly why I picked Samurai. Yeah, I already, I already have my pick for what I want. Um, what, what I want for the I mean, uh, for my healer and my magic DPS, they kind of are. Meanwhile, I'm going to be ranked up. My fifth rank is already at what is going to be the first place. My tank and my melee, though, I have three ranks. Oh, magical DPS is gonna be. I'm gonna try and split that between Red Mage and Black Mage. Uh, I've obviously got Black Mage for that. Um, Physical range DPS, I'm gonna use Bard. I'm gonna use Bard as well. <laughs> oh, my dance is max. <laughs> oh, hey, Ami. Uh, you, uh, you down to Bard it up once I switch over to. Uh, once I switch over, because uh, once I max out uh, Paladin and do those roll quests, uh, I'm going to work my way down the list and Bard is next. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. As good as Bard is, sorry, but I have to switch. I mean, you, you. 
Exactly. Yeah, I need to work on Reaper, but I need to get my crafters and gatherers up first. Of course, as for my tank, come on. I think you guys already know. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I need to get. Excuse me. I, I get gotta, you right. I have to finish my physical ranges first so that way uh, all the physical range left side gear is gone and then Ninja's gonna be next and Sheriff's gonna aim the accessories and then uh, that'll knock I'm in. out my. There it is. Oh, Gyako, you're in? I'm in. Hey, hey, there you are. Hey, I'm still in gear. Same. Um, <laughs> As is fetch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what I'll do is, um, once I get all of my physical ranges up, then I'll get my ninja up because that shares the aim accessory, so that'll knock out the melee real quest. And then, um, I think then what I'll do is because that's also gonna get rid of the scouting gear left side. What did I get? I might do my tank next. I might do my tank next. I just yeah. need some better. I need some better accessories for my dancer because yeah. There's oh. no level ninety stuff on the market, lad. Yeah. Also, um, random thought, but uh, Amy, earlier you were talking about me selling stuff. Yeah. I have almost four and a half million gil. I think I'm all set for money. Can, we, speaking of Gil, can we talk about the, the, the inflation for teleporting prices? Over a thousand Gil to teleport to the moon! Yeah, it's fucking dumb and I hate it. It gets worse! Area 5 is even worse! Oh, I know! Gets worse. Oh yeah, no. And here's the thing, though. On day one, when uh, when I saw the teleportation to Zavnir, we had reduced rates two on. It was still a thousand gil. Yeah, it's ridiculous. The prices are too high. Also, Lupi, you say you have all four thousand gil and you're good. You still gotta get gear for your classes and meld materia. Not until end game, though. But... Yeah, not. A, not until end game. B, that still leaves me with two million, with two and a half million materia after my cushion. And I think you know exactly what I'm talking about there. I'm sitting on 13 million gil and even I don't feel safe. Yeah, I'm sitting on like six, seven, and I don't feel safe either. Also, Biako, can you do fetch a favor? Um, what? What is I it? Don't... Uh, what would that favor be, fetch? She's probably gonna ask. Um, uh, can you? Oh no, actions are up. Go into the uh... house, up to the kitchen, and check to see if the wheels sparkly or not. Okay, I'll, I'll do it as soon as the cutscene is over. So basically, go check the wheel, we'll see if it's done. Yeah. yeah. She says, thank you. And he said it's a good thing that 
we'd be kind of screwed because I have all the great reactions. How, how many people? How many people do you have in Heaven's Sanctuary? Midnight Moon. First of all, we changed the name. Second oh, did you? Off, uh, yeah, we changed yes. the name. It's now Midnight Moon. Uh, second off, I, let me go double check how I'm not getting I think it's only eight. I think we used to have more, but uh, I'm not gonna go into detail about what the fuck happened. Uh, suffice it. Suffice it to say, a tornado struck the server, and... Yeah. No, no. The point is the, sim the, point, the, point is the simplest in terms of what happened. Uh, unnecessary drama happened. Pretty much. That's usually how it goes. Also, do don't grave reactions go into the fucking, um, whatever it is. Also... Fucking lobby error again. Jesus Christ. They can't go in the company chest. No, in the fucking... Where you... Where actions are stored. Alright, heading up. Um... Which way? I don't remember. <laughs> I, I haven't... I haven't used any of the actions because I only have... I only have a couple of grade two actions on, which, you know, I haven't used on at this point yet. Um... <laughs> Five open, one charging, none charging. The wheel in there is sparkly. Um, doesn't seem sparkly to me. Okay, what if you just stop me back in queue if I can even get back in? There we go. No, I don't think it's sparkly. No, it doesn't look like it's sparkling, only glowing brightly. Back where I was, 3,220. Thank Christ. So, no, it's not done charging. At this point, I'm wondering if there's any point. Uh, in the uh Fetch, why not? Uh, why not jump in the uh, street in the uh, voice chat? Uh, give me a second. She's probably in a car with Justin. Go ahead. Fair. Ah. Uh. And I just teleported out of there too. Sorry, I just had I just had a uh, reminder for uh, refreshing the recruitment page later. Fine, let me go back over there. <laughs> Fetch is like sorry. Discord just cut out for me. No, I still hear you. I don't know. I don't why know. Why I can't. So let, let, let me see. What it's Good because I can't really click on it because I'm using a controller. Yes, four. Then you have hundred nice. But I still see them the last. At least I was able to set Raza Khan in my home screen, so I don't have to send it to the Wait a minute. Hold on. Someone's calling me. One, two, three. I've counted, th I think, four thus far. Two, three, four. Oh, really? Fucking Kickstarter's getting on the crypto bullshit. I saw Steven made a post, and I'm like, wait, what the heck happened? And then I saw him, like, he's got it. Oh my fucking god, Rika.
Did she retweet boobs on the team timeline again? No, she re she posted ass. God damn it, Luca. Freeze! Well, somebody, uh... Damn, I didn't realize... Dove was a bunny, but damn, Dove got those buns. Would this right, be would this be Donna Bells? Yes. Okay. What she do? I cannot okay. see how um, many left to try. I cannot see that. I'm, okay, I what I'm gonna what I'm gonna I'm gonna mark this really quickly. I'm gonna be like, warning, uh don't be eating uh when you look at this. Oh no. Don't be eating when you look at this. Also, that video, Luke, that, those pants are totally not a. Wait, never mind. I see it. Uh. 25 hours remaining. Donald You're gonna have final. Donald, the final day. 25 hours remaining. Anything else you want me to check on before I teleport back in? Keep doing my role quest. Oh my god, Donna. Other than you staring at this number here. Is is it me uh, or has Ami been in pretty much a constant state of losing her shit ever since she entered this call? She's been in a constant state of losing her shit since she entered the call. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> this is me we're talking about. Yeah. I think it also helps that I'm actually a lot of happier. Are you, are you as happy as as uh, as you were during Fetch's Sims days when she was shipping us? <laughs> it, I'm happy because I'm finally in a healthy relationship. That's good. Oh, what am I, chopped liver? <laughs> Luffy, you dumb pissed her off. Apparently, according to Fetch, that wasn't a ship. It was a joke that became real. Ah. Yeah, Same was result. Joking. Same yeah, result. We were, we were joking about it. We were making jokes about her in the stream, and it happened, and we were just like, okay! You know what? The hell with it. Let's go with it. See where it goes. Next thing, you, next thing you know, we've got at least one kid, and there might be another on the way. I, wait, no, 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 I think there was two actually we had. I don't remember. One of them we named. One. one of them we named Israel, and I don't remember about the other one. I, I honestly, God, don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. You're talking about another ship, another ship, Joe? No. Although, although, although it wouldn't have surprised me at this point. Basically, my entire life has become ship jokes. <laughs> we joked about it. I didn't expect the ships to like each other by themselves. Man, we didn't do anything. We had no influence over it whatsoever. It just happened. Sometimes not the way it be. <laughs> and, and, like and I went, uh, Maxis, are you trying to tell us something? <laughs> I just find it funny how we were both in agreement. I'm just like, hell yeah, let's see where the hell this thing is gonna go. 
just for the shits and giggles. And we had plenty of both. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, it's it's it, it. I imagine it's been a minute since you've uh, boot, uh, booted up Sims Four. We should you should do that again. Let's uh, let's bring that back. Uh, back let's old. see. Let's see whether or not our Sims have managed to either uh, make happy and fr make happy and fulfilling lives of their families, and or burn down their entire neighborhood. I'm gonna go with the latter. <laughs> Especially since Shiva's in the neighborhood. The evil goddess of Narcola. God, I don't remember when that fire happened. I'm just like, what is going on? The Sims are something else. Like, anything that can happen will happen. Yes. And then some. Like, for example, one of the things that can happen in The Sims possibly is. So you had Jocelyn, Fetch? <laughs> the vagina! The grill! The fucking grill! Oh, good lord. Yeah. <laughs> the grill incident! Yep, she burnt down almost her entire house with one grill. Meanwhile... <laughs> Me meanwhile, the rest of us are across town at the club, and uh, Snips and I are swapping drinks, going, I'm never gonna dance again. <laughs> you should you should reboot it up and out the rest of us and see what Chaos Weekend goes. Oh, yes! Oh, that's it. Uh, you you also say you've been more interested in House Flipper. How uh how's that how's that do? House Flipper's fun. Her head. The fucking Master Roshi's house is in those free DLC and it's amazing. Oh lord. Oh my god! Was it booby trapped? I don't know! I don't know, but yeah, no, so Daddy wanted to move into the, uh, into the Home Alone house as a new place, but then it turned into, into, into like, the murder house, into another murder house, because there was, like, caution tape on the front door! Oh, fun. And I jokingly said, have fun with the murder house, and then she messaged me, like, five minutes later, Bella, it's actually a murder house! I'm like, what?! Eh, 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 eh. Hi, Count. How are you doing? Ah, ah, ah. Wonderful. Wait, it wasn't the Home Alone house. Whose house was it? Does the mic still work? If you're blah, blah, blah. Check one, two, ah, ah, ah. Fucking Master Roshi's house was a basement apartment. I think we know what he does in the basement. Yay! Um, you, could, you could literally turn that into a BDSM dungeon quite easily. Oh my god, wait, Daddy. No, 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 we had the murder house and we also had the drug dealer house. I oh, yeah. I took the drug dealer house and it turned out to actually be a drug dealer house! The yeah, house, house look was full of them. <clears throat> Good afternoon, ball of dope pushers. Grove Street OGs come to do damage.
Yeah, house flip is really fun and actually very relaxing. Wait, you were in the torture room? Was that misspelling deliberate? I hope not. Wait, wait a minute! Wait a second! I'm I assuming it. Oh! You wanna know one funny thing about house flipper that my friend found? Christian Grey's house. Excuse me? Fifty Shades of Grey. Christian, you can decorate Christian Grey's house. Jeebus you can Christ. even You can even decorate his red room. Let me know, uh, let me know if you guys find Patrick Bateman's house. No. <laughs> How much you want to bet people finding that house actually turned it into a, like, oh my god, the, the BDSM house is what I'm yeah. going Yeah. Yeah. That's... Yeah, you actually get you actually get to decorate Christian Grey's house, and he has a red room. Which I, which is, which you know, is the SM room. Which is his streaming room. <laughs> Wait, he streams his BDSM sessions? No, fucking no! It's just the red room in that house is a streaming room. Yeah, I love how you flip it. It has some amazing shit in it. Notifications for that fucking tweet. It's good, but you know, part of that must have been for me, which I'm sorry. It's at five thousand four hundred and nine views. Wait, wait, uh, what tweet again? Inferno made a meme and it blew up. Oh boy. This ought to be funny. Why does he keep kicking me in the dick? And it's replaced, and Cell is replaced with the two of, with the two of, with the 2002 error, and uh, Goku and Vegeta are the really long ass cues, and it's just that. Yeah, I get them a meme idea. I didn't expect him to tag me in the goddamn tweet. Nice. Yeah, that, the, that, that, the hacker's loft apartment was literally like Futaba vibes. I'm like, hey, I can see Futaba living here. Oh, definitely. Don't ask me to do the voice, by the way, because I cannot do the voice. Hey, Lupe. Yeah, I turned the basement into a sauna area and sold off the house. Did you find all seven Dragon Balls, Jen? <laughs> Seriously, there were seven Dragon Balls in the house. Could you sell them? No, they were collectibles. Ah. Yeah, I only found a few, sadly. But I couldn't find the rest. Mm. 
Makes me wonder if Goku and Chi Chi's house is gonna be there at some some point. With the rest of them. I didn't see any Wait. You mean those crystals out there or Yeah, they're trees. The pink paradise house? Master Roshi's. Ah, okay, yeah. I thought they were pretty. I mean, yeah, it's pretty, but if you want to make a forest, why not? Make a they damn forest. Really have... They don't know better, though. I know. Sadly. That's the worst we part. say, like, we say, yet which is, <laughs> which is dumb because. <laughs> yeah, and I'll speak to the. <laughs> yeah, and I'll <laughs> Yet again, we say. You're out of touch. I'm out of time. Yeah, same. And I don't like pink, so I'm many the wars. I'm at 2381. This might be my favorite new feature in Endwalker. Hmm? This might be my favorite new feature in Endwalker. Yeah, it's really cute. It's so cool. It's really cute. Amy, look what I DM'd you. Like, they don't know any about it, but... Mm-hmm. Has Jen got there yet? Uh, no. Got where? So I can't DM her what I do me you earlier, okay? Spoilers for later. Okay. Okay. I assume Mario Lamentum is area four? Yeah, that's area yeah. four. You know I'm right about that shit, though. Oh, yeah, I... I can kind of see it, but I'm just like... I can see it, but at the same time, I'm just like... I don't entirely know. So these people have been around for at least six millennia. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're all clones of each other. Wouldn't surprise me. So it's like the clones in Star Wars where they have... I'm, I'm pretty sure Living Way is the Jango fact. Wait, uh, they're fabulous fakes. Send in the clones! <laughs> Am uh, I wrong, though? I'm so sad there wasn't a naming way. <laughs> a naming, a naming way. way. Or, oh or, a, or a hemming way. No, I mean, it would have been funny. Na naming way was the original Lopony Lop in Final Fantasy IV. Ah, okay. Until he changed his name to Mapping Way. Okay. So, for the for what I would wager is the first time in all your living memories, with. With permission from Sammy J, Heath McIver, and Randy Face himself. Randy Felt Face himself, I should say. For, oh, Jesus, even though Ultros is having problems now. I. For what I would wager is only the second time in all your living memories, I am now proud to present to you the life and times of celebrated American author, novelist, and playwright, Mr. Ernest Miller Hemingway, in approximately four minutes. Go! Born in Chicago in 1899 to a physician and a musician, reasonably uneventful childhood, decided to study journalism. 
enlisted with the Red Cross during World War I, got blown up in Milan and spent the next six months in the hospital with severe shrapnel wounds in both legs. Fell in love with his nurse, they decided to get married. He came home to prepare, she stayed there and ditched him for an Italian soldier which initiated a lifelong pattern of him rejecting women before they had the chance to reject him. Uh, I feel like somebody here might want to take notes. Oh, I'll have to watch that later. Yeah, because the first thing I see on my timeline is Outback Stab House! Yeah, that's not unusual for Disc Only. <sighs> Disc Only? Isn't that a podcast? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Then there were a few more rejoinings, and then began. <laughs> that moment when you realize I'm actually two levels ahead of where I should be for story. I was, I'm actually like, I'm actually on par now, but I am halfway to being level 90, so I think like quite a bit of experience is gonna get wasted. If nothing else, I have. Uh, I did not, I did not see your dinner fetch. Uh, I'm a bit of a ways away from my phone, so I'll check it later. I would... Yeah, I did, and it looks hella good. Oh yeah, it looked really good. I made dinner earlier today, because I was actually hungry, so I made an early dinner, and I would make, I would repeat the leftovers, but I don't want to leave you. I still need to pick up that cop book at some point. Oh! Diablos is having problems as well! Look at everywhere is having problems! Guess what we broke! Everything! Except with Diablos in certain areas of Endwalker. Oof. Literally that one line from the Super Mario uh, 3D World LP is just, Guess what we broke! Everything! Everything. Uh, Rianger, are you up to more shady behind the scenes stuff? I gotta fucking smack a Rianger, because this is like, we're not doing this again. We're not doing this again! Oh, I said the same fucking thing, I was like. That's what, that's what Willis said as well, like, Rianger, I'm gonna smack you, we're not doing this shit again. <laughs> like, Rianger, motherfucker. Have you learned nothing? You said you wouldn't do this shit again. It's like, have you learned nothing? Twelve thousand years. Jeebus Cripes. Ten thousand mm -hmm. years! We'll give you such a crick in the neck. neck! Hang on a second. Hold on. What? <laughs> Oh, wow, does that feel good to be out of there? <laughs> yeah. All no, right. no, like that, that scene freaked me out when he did that. Hey, where you from? What's your name? Uh, 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 Aladdin. Aladdin! Hello, Aladdin. Nice to have you on the show. Can we call you Al or maybe just Dan? How about Lade? Sound like, here, boy. Come on, Lade. 
That wants to hit my head harder than I thought. I'll hit you in the head. Oh! Um, I guess it's time for me to scoot because, uh, I'm on now, so... Uh, Yo! Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! I love her. She's just a chaotic ball of energy. She's so nuts. She's completely bonkers, and I love her for it. And she's gonna come screaming into my DMs like... Mm, oh my god. Garlic, not Gallian, Biako. I said garlic. I didn't like you said Gallian. I didn't say Gallian. <laughs> Clean out your ears. Better yet, let me clean them out for you. Let me find, let me find some, let me find a very big set of cotton swabs. <laughs> shouldn't stick cotton swabs in your ears. You shouldn't stick anything in your ears, really. Hmm, true. Let me spray some water in your ears. Shouldn't do that either. Hey, 87. Um, it's, don't worry, he's just gonna be a quick second. You won't hear it. That or you know what? I know. that one will sound yeah. Two yep. frozen and a six for me. Yep, we're doing this shit again. What shit? It's fixing to be Stormblood all over again. Or rather, pre-Stormblood, I should say. Lupe, it's been a very long time since I played Stormblood. What the fuck are you all about? What the hell were we just talking about not even three minutes ago? Oh, were we actually doing shit shit? Okay. Yeah. Pay attention, there'll be a quiz later. Oh, well, it's a quiz I'm gonna fail, though. At least you're honest. Sure, why not? Actually, I think I've already seen it, but whatever. Sure, that was good if you can. Sage may end up being much of a fueler if I can work on uh, My jokes have fallen on deaf ears. <laughs> also, he did say you could show him. Oh, well, I mean, I am half deaf, so that does make sense. It's also been a very long journey for this expansion, so cut us a break. And it's not over yet. He's, <laughs> he's, he's got the outfit, he's got the X-Pack, but we're not through yet. <laughs> Hang on to your relics, kid. We're going to make you a star. I'm very curious on where we're gonna go from here. That is a good question. A very good question. Sorry. 
Some name some names did get dropped, which was interesting. Obviously, what he's more than likely up to is only going to look shady because we missed the conversation he originally had that put him on this path. Also, shit with Ariane J is always shady. He's a shady ass He's a shady ass motherfucker. Also, you notice something? In the trailer for Endwalker, for some odd reason, they put a shirt. They put a piece of fabric over Orianger's back. But in game, his back is bare. What the hell was that all about? I don't know. Because the fan base was freaking out over it. Yes, it is. An arrival is timely as ever. Thou didst chance to overhear my conversation with Living Way. He's and... never had a piece of fabric on the back of that outfit. It's why the fanboys lost its complete fucking lot of shit when they saw it in the trailer. To move in shadow. Nevertheless, <laughs> I have been asked to do that and more yet again. <laughs> Is it so plain that these strangers could intuit it at a glance? My capacity for silence and secrecy and duplicity. Well, I mean, you are a wildwood. I mean, what? <laughs> hmm? And Rahatia did contrive to deliver the first at the price of his own life. Yeah. I was complicit in the scheme. A sacrifice averted for his mercy. Would that I could say the same for Minfilia. One life for one world. And by that bloody bargain brokered by my hand were the scions robbed of a dear comrade and Flamine her beloved daughter. And I my first Eorzean love. Two souls whose selflessness was beyond measure, whose resolve was unshakable. They would not be moved even had I thought to protest. But protest I did not. Far from it. I pushed them forward. No effort did I make to seek out alternatives. Mm. Ones that would not demand such terrible costs. That resignation weighed heavy on my mind. As does the memory he of another doesn't have it there either. I don't get why do they have it in the trailer but not on his we might secure is weird to bring low the Asians. in 
her hour of need, I did naught. Beautiful disciple of Louis Soi, ever looking to the greater good. Had I shut mine eyes and bid her live instead, mayhap she... Why, though? It today. looked weird. Too. Yeah, why though? It looked fucking weird in the trailer. People lost their crap over it. But could think of naught else when asked to swallow the same bitter draught. Subterfuge and sacrifice. May have the right moral hmm? choice, but one I regard. Maybe I'm just back too sick, <laughs> too hot, too hot for square. I'm too sexy for the square. Too sexy for the square. <laughs> Didn't they also do like a Super Mario Brothers 3 song? Yeah, I think they did. The calamity of Amorot was a tragedy beyond reckoning. One which must never again come to pass. We struggle, haunted by ghosts of those we have lost, clinging to those we pray we can yet save. Okay, that makes One sense. We cannot. It just looks so out of place. How do we make peace with the dreadful algebra of necessity? Sometimes there is no right answer. I am not alone in my mm. discomfort. There's a left answer. <laughs> a forward answer and a back answer? <laughs> yep. <laughs> it is surprising. But perhaps not. Well, that makes sense. It's just funny how, much, how the fanboys lost its goddamn mind over it. Wait. Strange. Scarcely can I remember when last we spoke alone and so candidly. It's been a long time. Oh, I thank thee. For all my supposed skill with words, I find it difficult to express such private thoughts. As for the Loperitz proposition, I will take time and consider how to respond. Would be to our mutual benefit if we could converse more openly with our aspiring caretaker. That's fair. Like I said, I just find it funny how much the fan base lost its goddamn mind over it. Concern I should be glad to address on the science behalf. To dispense with all pretense and bear one's heart to another is a frightening thing indeed. But we cannot move forward ere we take that bold first step. <laughs> lesson I have learned many times before, and today. 1,480. Just when I tend to forget that this game is fucking British. And what's wrong with that? And, and not a damn thing. I'm just saying. Looking at, looking at that scene with those four, I see. Hmm? I see Scar, Amy, Ami, and one of them. And now I need to prepare to get smacked by a bunch of people. Okay, that makes sense, Shen.
Also, why the hell are you comparing us to rabbits? Yeah, this is an everyman hybrid. Because I can't. Fair. It's like you had to mention everyman hybrid. You just had to mention. What? Biako knows. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, let's just say it's a bit of an unfiction thing. Yes. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, hey, well, I mean, hey, Biako, could be worse. Mm -hmm. I could have brought up Tribe Twelve. Mm -hmm. Oh God. And now you get we get to the segment of the stream as I have no fucking clue what they're on about. Well, let me ask you this, maybe. Have you ever heard of something called the Slender? Oh yeah. So oh. the Slender Man is involved in both of those series. Yes. Oh. That I didn't know. Yes. Little scar. Yeah, fuck that guy. Especially after those girls did what they did. Oh yeah, I heard about that. And oh no. Oof. Oh, slender. Oh lord. Oof. That you had, yeah, you got a taste of real horror right there. Have fun. <laughs> Ami DC while finishing the 88 roll quest for physical DPS. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah. And I just got a server. For fuck's sake, I'm gonna lose my place in queue. I feel like I'm the only one in this entire FC that actually enjoys Hulk. As in Final Fantasy for what? Or horror? Well, parts of Final Fantasy 14 are Hulk. Oh, I don't mind Hulk. It's the jump scares they get me. Yeah, I'm I'm the same. What that that's probably the biggest reason why my favorite horror movie of all time that I've seen at least is uh, Nightmare on Elm Street three. Less jump uh. less jump scares, more unsettling bullshit. Enjoying the company of Uncle Fred. Yep. Well, and it also doesn't hurt that Dokken is on the soundtrack, so. <laughs> oh, hey, I didn't lose my place, guys. We're the dream warriors. Don't want to dream no more. I prefer psychological horrors over blood and gore horrors, to be honest. Oh, so you, you like stuff like, uh, 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 I, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really call Saw a psychological horror, although there are some psych elements. Uh, it's definitely more blood and gore, uh, kind of thing. Yeah, the Saw films are a bit too much blood and gore for me. Yeah, my, yeah. my mother's in the same boat as you, so you're probably more into, like, paranormal activity and stuff. Yeah. Okay. I, I actually don't mind Saw. But I do like how, um, I do like how the story I like The Shining, The Shining's fucking brilliant. In fact, that actually, in a way, makes you question, who's the real hero of the story? Is it the cops trying to do their jobs and finding who they believe is a killer? Or is it the killer himself, who actually has a point about a lot of things? Yep. Or... It makes you question it. Or could it be, or could we take the third option and say there is no hero in those movies? Oh, God, Dad. 
Oh, that's oh, awful. Yeah. But remember, in all, in almost every story, there's always a hero. Yep. In one some way. Thought, one thing I always wondered about The Shining... Was he real or wasn't he? Because in the end, he ends up in that picture. Yeah, I bet you weren't! Ooh, one less. Oh, call. fuck that film. Given what we've just seen in that previous cutscene, I find that hard to believe. Sadly, sadly, Amy just got 90k, so she's not even gonna bother. Oof. They've got to do something to fix this. Shadowbringers and Stormblood weren't this bad. Oh, That's convenient. Stormblood. Suspiciously Stormblood. convenient. Oh. The way I see them, I see different themes that come in mind. Stormblood, much like Heaven's Word, deals with war, but it's not just any other war. It's a war of ideology and freedom. Shadowbringers, it pretty much puts you in the closest thing to a post-apocalyptic world in a Final Fantasy game. In here is in here with Endwalker. We are in the apocalypse. Yes. We are trying to stave off the apocalypse, and given everything that Byako has told me, we likely will not succeed. Well, what I said so far is the thing. If it's but in here, I might be able to get it. But something tells me that we might succeed in something. It just might not be what we thought. Saying nothing. Yeah, it sounds about right. Yeah, of course you're not saying nothing. Either. I got a full life! Ow! 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 <laughs> Going down! Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, there's like a, there's like a quarter of a second's delay from what I'm seeing between my actions in the game and, or between the audio and the video, I should say. From what I'm seeing, yeah. it's kind of similar whenever I. Do. <laughs> yeah. Also, I will when you when you've all finished the MSQ, I will bring something up with you that will kind of make you go, oh. All right. Okay, I've got a uh, I've got a better line to to uh, to use for jumping from great heights. So give me just a sec. Oh, is it Leroy Jenkins? No. It is not Leroy Jenkins. That one has been done before. That's nah, Bonsai. It's not Bonsai either. I may be fat, but I'm not Yokozuna. Hey! Somebody got the reference! 
Oh, for once I got a weapon that is stronger than my relic weapon. Oh, toe, 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 ow! God, I love Spider-Man 2000. I freaking knew these damn bunnies were up to something. They're bunnies. They're always up to something. They're little shits. They're always up to something. They're horny little shits. I cannot believe I actually just made that shot. Let's try, very nice. Also, they missed the perfect opportunity to make a Futurama joke in this. Bender? Shouldn't I date her first? No, they could have put the, we're whales on the moon. The, we're whales on the moon joke in here somewhere. I don't know about y'all, but something is not right. Again, rabbits, they're evil as little shits. <laughs> Damn it, you stole her. <laughs> they draw you in with their cuteness, then they attack. In force. And considering I'm pretty sure they clone themselves.
That is a pretty cool cape, I'm not gonna lie. Which one? You got two. Three if you Hi, count. Hi, Num Nuts. Which one? Uh, which one? You got two. Three if you count. Dumbass is Num Nuts. Lupe, Dumbass is Num Nuts. Dumbass is Num Nuts. AKA Sam. Okay. Scarlet is Little Mama. Hmm. Ooh. I don't think she's ever called Tinker Dumbass. So I look into the server and the first thing I see, the first message I see is, this is for all the jokes about wrinkly balls. <laughs> oh my f fucking god. Look at why. He's a happy dummy. Can he hear them talking by any chance? I'm at 370. No. I know because cats can actually react to the sound of people's voices sometimes. If they can hear them well enough. He's stinky though. Good luck giving him a bath. Only had only had to do that one time with my old cat. And that's because she rolled the whole shit. That was interesting. To say the least. I would imagine. Had to had to wear fucking um fire resistant gloves to do it. Because they were the only thing sick enough that she couldn't get a claws through.
Once she settled down, she was fine, but getting her, oh god, getting her in there was a pain. I'd imagine. Yep, I've done plenty of that. Dare I ask? He was asking, uh... <sighs> I had a, a Laporte, a Laporte ask, uh, ask me about, Hey, uh, is it true that you use ma uh, materials harvested from living things and plants and such? to make things without using creation magics? Mm -hmm. Ah. <laughs> oh my god, Jenny, that give. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, he's done that, but he mostly gets his wife to do it. person. <laughs> I'm at sing, I'm at double, 76.
Oh, come on, one person? I'm in a one person queue. Hi, little oh, mama. I'm in a queue of one people. I'm in a queue of myself. Oh, you heard Casey's cat? Yeah, they were having a bit of a spat in my laundry basket. Ooh. Sorry, that's just me and Biako arguing. <laughs> Don't mind us. Now, now, play nice, children. and got a DX11 error. Oh. I swear to God, this puts me all the way back at the fucking end of the queue. The elegance, don't get me started. That's the one I picked. I'm just going to turn the volume down just in case. Yeah, no, fuck that, I'm not getting back on tonight. One of your friends asked me to check on you. Where you need to fix this shit, or you're gonna start losing your player base.
Focus on what you love to do. Well, I hope you don't get a DX11 error like I just did. I haven't had much of an issue with DX11, personally. Real fucking issue. That's actual bullshit. Square really needs to fix this, or they are actually going to start losing their players. Because people are just going to quit until shit calms down. Time to wait another fucking two hours to get in the game. I know they said they're going to give people a 7 day 3 login because of the issues, but... It's never too late to drain. I'm glad they delayed Savage coming out. Mm. Could you imagine people trying to rape with these cues? Oh, shit. <laughs> Good night. Night. <laughs> oh, wait, my wife snores? I didn't notice. No, I don't snore. Apparently, I snore like a son of a bitch. I only snow when I'm sick. Ah.
The ultimates come out in 6.1, don't they? What now? Ultimate comes out in 6.1. I'm not sure. It might. Yeah. God, because we can Because fucking DDoS Savage and fucking Login Savage. Good God. I'll be here forever. Because we all know that shit's gonna happen. Mm hmm. Always does. I love how the sprightly Laporte is having none of the reeling Laporte's bullshit. <laughs> but I'm much too late, uh, exhausted <laughs> from my encounter with the we with the Weeper, sprightly Laporte. Enemy neutralized with extreme prejudice.
Sunday. I know that wasn't necessarily a sneeze, but fuck it. Hey, scars in. Yay. Yay. Well, look at you, Scar. Crying it later, I bet I'll be getting sick. Let's just say I am that I can't really say. Uh, well, so you know, I did get some meat. Ooh. Since you finished in Walker, I think you know what. Depends where you are. Wow, Jade's been logged in since 7.30 in the morning. Jesus Christ, Jade. <laughs> Scott's just like, eh, I believe it.
Yeah. <clears throat> See, that's the thing, though. That's untrue. According to this thing I just read, there's no way to circumvent the AFK time. Hmm. And that's not true. That's impossible! Play as much as circumvent the game's inactive timeout feature. In one of his weekend yuck blog posts, Yoshida reassured players that regardless of using emotes or other message methods, players who are only active for 30 minutes are booted from the server. That's not true. Yeah, yeah. You can literally go away AFK for more than half an hour in game and not get booted. Because I've done it. Looks like May's about to finish MSQ. Seems so. And you got lucky. I do. Who, me? Yeah. Um, trying to get over here. There are ways over though. You just gotta find them. If I can actually get online, I'd just fly you over though.
Ouais, ça me Oh, Damzen. It is. Oh, look at that. Glad some people can get in. This shit comes down soon. All right, the okay, all right, and this will not be filled in for a while. That won't be filled in until you can fly. Yeah. Talky Angie. Dude, this ship looks like something out of Xenoblade. Yeah. You guys see it too, right? Yes. It is elegant. Mm -hmm. But it still looks like something that's straight out of Xenoblade. It really does. Joke, you in there? Joke! Hey, that's what is he able to I'm get more, the inspiration I'm more looking for Elma. Elma Fudd? Elma <laughs> Be, be very, very quiet. We're hunting terrorists. Ha! Uh,
you know, call them up. They're probably terrorists. Unless it's food crimes, and yeah. You place it in your ambiguously sized bag. Is that how they're getting away with you having a hammer space? Yes. Yeah. Good lord. We have our own bag of holding. Better be careful it doesn't turn into a bag of spilling. I don't think the thing is can spill in a bag of holding. Uncover things, I should say. Yako, what are you doing? I'm calling off to an idiot. Which one? It looks like it worked. It worked on the first person that it's answered. Hey, Amy, your words. You called yourself an idiot. Remember that. I can feel her glaring at me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to look directly at her because I can't, but I think I can feel her glaring at me. Possibly going, Mother I her. Well, that's one, but I'm thinking this dumbass American. She married one, so. I don't know. Well, in game, she married one. I should be clear about that. Oh, she got out of the call. Looks like she's gonna change her, uh. It looks like she's gonna change her nickname again. Wouldn't What's surprise be called me at this now? point. Cat killer, maybe? I don't know. Tiger killer? Cat... Mm, tiger killer at least would make sense. If it's cat killer, that would mean she might have to kill herself, too. Yeah. Which would just be awkward. Yeah. Awkward.
<laughs> I see that message in chat. You very well may. Either way, it looks like you're having a fun time thinking about the moon. Yeah, well, I'm farming side quests and stuff, so. Yeah. That's usually what I do. I always go for the side quest before continuing the MSQ. To the heart of the matter. The heart of the matter. I wanna feel the thought I'm thinking about forgiveness. Oh, forgiveness. Even if, even if you don't love me anymore. 
So, what's this about Pet Shop of Horrors? What's this about Little Pet Shop of Horrors? <laughs> Funny. Don't be surprised if one of those little bunny things come up and say, Feed me! I'm just waiting for one of them to break into full on song. You'll be a dentist. People pay you to be inhumane. Is that the missus? That's the missus. Since there's a, since there's a scene that involves one of her favorite animals, I was showing it there. Ah.
wouldn't clothes from that be a little too translucent? Bloody hell, he's on the top floor. Alright, now I get to, now I get what's up with these uh, moon bunnies. Not necessarily evil, but a little bit too scared of the possibility for their own good. I don't think you'll need your tank stamp on for this. No, I won't, but I like to have it on just for just for simplicity's sake. Simplicity's sake, what the hell am I talking about? Listen to my dumbass. Reflexes sake is what I should have said.
I'm gonna fall out. Oh, toe, 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 ow. Thank God for gameplay and story segregation, huh?
I didn't really upset Amy. Thankfully, Amy's the type of gal that it takes a lot to piss her off. Yeah. At least as I know her. Abruptly out of the call, from what I've said, make me feel that I may have upset her. To be fair, it is also 4 30 roughly where she is. She may have just passed out. And uh, what, pray tell, do we seek at the Watcher's Palace? Oh, come up, old friend. You know full well why we're here. The time has come for you to return to Etheris and help your brethren prepare for their journey here and beyond. Forgive me, Living Way, but I cannot in good conscience proceed with this plan. Flagging commitment to your duty is endearing, to say the least. Be at ease. They bear you no grudge, nor do I. How could we, having come to understand your purpose? 
For millennia, you and yours worked tirelessly towards the singular purpose of this heavenly vessel's construction. An arduous feat by any measure. It is clear you have spared no effort. Why, your very names are a testament to your dedication. I understand what you're getting at. Names are an expression of the self, a declaration of one's hopes and aspirations. Your use of contemporary, uncomplicated nomenclature doth ensure clarity of purpose. There can be no doubt that your love for the people of Atheris is boundless and pure. Yes! Yes! A most mellifluous reason! Damn it, they look like they're about to cry. We Lopperets were born of Hygenen's <laughs> love for Atheris! <laughs> Remember, I toiled in anticipation of the day when this vessel might be needed. All I've ever wanted was to meet those she cherished so dearly, to serve and serve well. That goes for all of us, don't you see? So help us, well, help us, just help so I don't them. have to leave them away. here where well, we can lose while I'm uh, still playing. I'm gonna have to hang up for now. All right. It's been good having you, brother. No problem. You be safe. Yeah, then. Let's just say, you might either enjoy or loathe what you're gonna witness. That's all I can say. I have a feeling it'll be a pretty even mix of both. Yeah. And off I go. With what we've built, we'll fix it. We'll make it right. Your works want not for repair. Yet there remaineth much for you to learn of men and your own kin besides. Singing way. Thy name bespeaketh more than the simple marriage of rhythm and rhyme. The songs of Atheris are beyond counting and span the length and breadth of emotion. Maps are monuments to man's pioneering spirit and his devotion to charting the furthest reaches of our star. Many have devoted their lifetimes to exploratory pursuits. To venture unto the highest mountains and the deepest oceans in search of unknown frontiers. And thou, my friend, I... Oh, I do not think we have met. My... My name is Puddingway. Puddingway? Yes, indeed. A name of deep and abiding significance, I'm sure, but one perhaps better communicated through delicious deeds than tasteless words. A judicious application of fey magics at a later juncture may be appropriate. <laughs> <clears throat> and living way. <laughs> it is no easy feat to convey the significance of thy moniker. When I was a bookish boy, a dear friend of mine was fond of peppering me with questions as I read, to my occasional annoyance. One day, I posed to her a question of mine own. What doth it mean to live? 
After much contemplation, she proffered this answer. The anticipation of a half-read story's conclusion. The hope today's mistake may serve as tomorrow's lesson. The wish that a new acquaintance may one day call thee friend. She believed it to be all these moments and more. to understand, but... I, too, still labor to find mine own answer. Twould be my pleasure to assist you and yours in embarking on a journey of self-discovery and enlightenment. For thee. Ink as blue as the waters of Etheris. Made in haste, though I assure thee, the quality has not suffered for it. The people need not be persuaded by honeyed words. Nay, I have faith they shall do what is right in due course. Until they do, I beg your patience, friends. And with that ink, let us fill the empty pages of Living Ways Compendium. An open exchange of ideas will surely afford you all a better understanding of modern man, and with it, ideas for improvements and renovations. But more importantly, it shall empower us to together find a way forward. There you have it. I shall remain with the Loperits to ensure that all is in order. Though we must needs prepare for every eventuality, you would all agree that the evacuation of our star is a last resort. To accept failure is to accept the demise not only of our star, but that of Reed's, of all reflections, and the souls that call them home. Which is why I have every faith that you shall fight to the last. That such drastic measures may prove unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Should the worst come to the worst, and I pray deeply that it won't, I'll take comfort in knowing preparations were made under your watchful eye. Aye, thou mayest be assured that if calamity cometh, not a soul will be left behind. If being the operative. The Orange of Resolve. Elpis. Uh, I hate to interrupt, but I feel like I need to make amends for all the secrecy. Think nothing of it. We haven't been the most gracious of guests. Do convey our apologies to Growing Ray and the others. Charlie and Forum, yes? What? How did you know? The 
more I heard, the more obvious it became. The forum's aims align closely with those of your anonymous patrons. A telling coincidence would be an understatement. Though had we not taken it upon ourselves to peruse certain restricted tomes in Labyrinthos, we might still be unaware of their plans. But let us continue this discussion upon our return. I dare say we have kept Alphano and the others waiting long enough. Y'all are ready. Now, just in case, I'm not going to talk to Orianje just yet. Just in case it turns out that talking to him brings us back to the planet. And I want to take care of everything I can before we get out of here. And literally the only thing I have left to take care of is this one quest.
I like that. Oh, boil my carrots. I might keep that.
Hey, Amy's in the queue. Or rather, Amy's in the game. She made it through the queue. What do you do when you're not working? Good ear, right? Ever tried making music? Well, sit back.
You can have too much of a good thing, I guess. <laughs> That is everything we can take care of on the moon, short of finding the last ether crystal, uh, ether current, via quest that will allow us the ability to fly. It's time to go save the world. Speak of the devil. Let's fly over this bad boy and finish filling in this map. Peace. Like, just port there. Who gives a
looks good. Roger. There is much and more to tell you. So when we got up there, we found this... Yes, sir. If they found him, they would likely not live to tell the tale. Well, be praised, I never thought I would see this day. Eorzea, Garlemald, and the provinces, all on the same page, united against one man. It's true what they say. The times, they are a-changing.
truly the apocalypse is upon us. And we must do what we can to prevent it. Off to Charlie and we go. There's much to tell. So when we got up to the moon, the first thing we happened upon was this massive tower. Let's go. Thank you all for gathering here on such short notice. 
This day we must speak of grave affairs and their implications for the future of Charlie. Nay, of this very star. Said affairs concern all citizens. So we have called for a public assembly. You may have heard rumors of the Talopheroi and the havoc these madmen wreak abroad. Under normal circumstances, we would pay little heed to petty disturbances outside our borders. The final days, however, are another matter altogether. For we dare not ignore these prophetic words of Eld. The end bearers will come, ushering chaos and calamity. The final days descend and devour the very star. He's gonna put the blame on us. I've never heard this prophecy. Is it true? Will all that really happen? Calm yourselves. The time has come to speak of the Forum's most sacred duties. But first... Give voice to the voiceless. Let bindings be unbound. By unanimous decree, I declare the enchantment broken. Master Leveilleur, if you would. Very well. Two hundred and seventy years ago, our forebears began an expedition in the Dravanian hinterlands in search of a route to access the Ethereal Sea. This much is public knowledge. Their findings, however, would become the Forum's most closely guarded secret. What those researchers discovered in the Hinterlands was not a passage unto the Ethereal Sea, but the very heart of our star, and Hydalin herself. She spoke to them of a calamity that would extinguish all life and of a means by which we might be spared. The moon. Tis in truth a gargantuan vessel built to serve as sanctuary for her children and deliver them from this doom. Much like Nuncref's hope in ages past, it will bear the people of a world in the throes of death to a new home. Needless to say, this will be no small undertaking. To facilitate the great work, the Forum has maintained close contact with the servants of Hydaelyn, who presently reside on the moon. Convinced that the foretold end was all but inevitable, we began amassing a wealth of knowledge, not merely for the betterment of our nation, but in preparation for the journey to come. Would you reveal this to us now? By the gods, how long do we have? While we cannot say with certainty, we believe the hour to be nigh. We received a transmission from the moon suggesting as much not long ago. Which is why we must in earnest begin preparations for the great exodus. For his impressive contributions, and the leadership he demonstrated during our withdrawal from Dravania, we have elected Master Leveilleur to oversee this initiative.
Fellow scribes and scholars, my countrymen, we face a threat of unprecedented scale. We must challenge the trials before us with composure and conviction if we are to find salvation. The wisdom of Charlian has ever been a shining beacon in the darkness, and so it shall continue to be. It is our solemn charge to see our heritage preserved for future generations. For those who will come after, we will brave a new frontier. Administrative edicts will be relayed to all major institutions ere long. In the meantime, carry on with your duties. With that, I hereby call this assembly to a close. remember what mother told us when we visited home that it wasn't until after we were born that father seemed to lose himself in his work if that great work of his was the evacuation of this star then yes it wasn't for his benefit Would you mind waiting here a moment? I wish to speak with Father before we leave. Take your time. Thank you. I shan't be long. If it's all the same to you, I have a few choice words to share with Father as well. So, come to call us cowards, and bid us join your fruitless battle against the inevitable. Nay, we do not object to the Forum's proposal. On the contrary, those who wish to flee have every right to do so. Orianger is cooperating with your associates on the moon to ensure that all is ready, should evacuation be our only recourse. Then whatever your business, I suggest you be brief. Though we cannot boast the boundless wisdom of Charlian, we have first-hand knowledge of foreign cultures and have conversed with no small number of peoples. These experiences have taught us fundamental truths that cannot be recorded in any tome nor charted on any map. The beating heart of this planet is its people, many of whom would give anything even their lives, to protect the lands they love. Many may choose to join you in the end. But what of those unwilling or unable, for whom escape will never be an option? What would you have them do? To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, Father. It is indolence. This is why we choose to fight. We'll not ask for your understanding, Father. Only that you don't turn a blind eye to the good we have done. That we can still do. We're not children in need of protection. Hold fast to your principles and let the world burn if it please. But we believe there is still another way. And if there is, we will find it. You see if we don't. They grew up so fast.
You kids have done me proud. Do as you will. Just stay out of our way. Were he not so consumed with self-righteousness, he might tell you how proud he is of you both. Bold words call for bold action. And there'll be no turning to your father should plans go awry. As if I ever would. So long as there are those who wish to stay and fight for this star, we have to do what we can to help them. And so we shall. If we're to do that, we'll need to be well rested. Wouldn't you agree? Having triumphed over what we once thought to be the source of all evil, I can think of no one in greater need of at least a dozen winks. Try 40. Shall we then? To the annex. To prepare for tomorrow. Those two have really grown up. I'm so proud of them. Morocco visions? Yep. Evening. I hoped you hadn't crawled beneath the covers just yet. If you'll indulge me for a moment, I have a favor to ask. What's up? Don't worry. Nothing desperate or dire, if that's what you were wondering. Not yet. You know we may have quite literally entered our final days. The ancients went so far as to call it that for a reason. If so, then everything we did for Reem, for the first, will have been meaningless. And I can't accept that. I just can't. My mind won't allow for the possibility. And that could be a problem. When we're in the thick of it, I don't know if I've got it in me to be pragmatic this time. To run, even if running's the right choice the only choice so if you see me turning a blind eye to the harsh reality 
feed some sense into me, would you? I trust you and the other Scions with my life. And I'd like to think the feeling is at least occasionally mutual. And I'd never forgive myself if my stubbornness put them in danger. Gods, listen to me. Beginning to sound like the father I never had. So, can I count on you to keep me in line? I can think of no one else more eminently qualified. Damn right you can. Excellent. Now I can breathe a bit easier. Which isn't to say that I will, given what we're up against. Let's keep this little chat our secret. I'd rather not have anyone scolding us for burning the midnight oil. short while earlier in the Alamegan Quarter Thank the gods that tower is gone. The sight of it was enough to make me sick. Thank the Ilse of our contingent more like. Word is they fought their way into Garlemald and toppled the bloody thing themselves. Not just the one, neither. All the towers have up and vanished. Aye, I heard the same. Commander Aldin and his troops helped keep casualties to a minimum, too. But is it true they brought back tempered Galleon soldiers? As Commander Aldin tells it, they have a treatment for that now. But don't you worry. Cured or not, they've no plans to bring them into the city proper. I see. Well, that's a relief then. I know we've brothers and sisters among the lot, but I can't say I'm eager to welcome them home. Who the hell is this? Won't need to think about it for a while yet. We're to be looked after in Alagana for the time being. Meanwhile, in Ishgard. Oh, hey! Another day mission of paramount importance. Well, what have we here? Hmm. Uh-oh. Hey, are you all right? Back to his feet, that's good. Was that? No. The shadows play tricks, nothing more. The towers are gone, and the Garlean threat is abated. And yet, why does it feel as though it's about to get much, much worse? Because it is, buddy. <laughs> Get yourself safe. Please, for the love of the Twelve, get yourself safe.
shit. Here we go. And lo, vile beasts did rise. Here we go. Thus beginneth the final days. Leaving naught in their wake but blood and ash. Scorches earth and boils seas. And our sins ascend unto the heavens. Three dudes to unmake all we were. The sky burns. My friends, I trust you have heard the news. We have. What can you tell us of the situation, Your Excellency? Last night, the isle was rocked by tremors, and the earth itself cried out. The key. Aloft, the heavens began to burn. From all about, unholy beasts the likes of which we had never seen, came forth in fury and rage. No. To say they came forth would be... inexact. The people of Radzathan themselves transformed into these baleful fiends. Though the phenomenon was observed throughout our lands, the first creature, the largest and most dreadful of the lot, wrought havoc upon us here in our fair city. Though they bear superficial resemblance to divinities of legend, they are ungodly abominations. The people decry them as blasphemies. 
The Large One's rampage has since taken it to the northern reaches of the island. I mean to dispatch our radiant host in an attempt to quell the threat. And what of Vritra? Vritra too makes for the north of his own accord, and yet... He knows the blasphemy and its minions were but yesterday his beloved people. I pray his boundless compassion and mercy does not deter him from taking unenviable but necessary action. Understood. I ask that you allow us to aid you in quelling this threat. You would risk your lives to help us yet again? I have no words to express my gratitude. Our regiments approach the north from several directions, with a number of units set to depart from the docks of Yeti. They will make landfall in an area of dense jungle, where one can expect to encounter dangers even beyond the fell beasts we hunt. I leave you to your preparation. You will find me at the docks when you are ready to depart. We're as prepared as we'll ever be. Let's go. Yeah, Tia can do pretty much whatever you need him to do.
It's all right, Hatcher. We'll not ask you to do battle against Shadow.
Third dungeon complete, and thus do the final days officially begin. saw it plain, but you didn't, did you? I saw nothing. Not the blasphemy that perished here, nor the other men turned beasts. And because of this, I now see all too well. There is no ether. Where the creatures should be, I saw naught but emptiness. Emptiness? That would mean... Recall the words of the Watcher. T'was a stagnancy of ether, a cessation of flow leading to decay and absence that led the ancients to conclude their star was dying. This is the same phenomenon. The instant these people are seized by the transformation, their ether begins to rot and crumble away like dried mud. Until, from their corporeal forms to their very souls, naught remains. But the beast spoke with its dying breath. Surely, at least a sliver of the man it was endured. Mayhap so. But even if the process was incomplete, it was little more than a faint residue. Gods be good. You're saying they cannot be saved? Not by any means known to me. Or by any means at all, like as not. For there is naught left to save. They return not even to the ethereal sea. Vitra. The beasts rage on, their hunger insatiable. Even deprived of their master, they perpetuate his legacy of hate. Once proud sons and daughters of that near, all of them, and now I spill their Vitra, my friends, I am heartened to see you safe. And will you? You put your secret at risk. Those closest to me already know the truth. A truth I must now share with one and all.
Vitra. Calamity has come to Radzatan. Our fair nation is rent by screams of pain and despair. More than ever, we require a strong leader to shepherd us through the storm. Reveal your true self to our people, Vitra, and guide us to salvation. What madness is this, I one? Thou dost forget thyself. Were we to reveal our duplicity, it would do naught but foster confusion and chaos. Nay, I shall remain the Satrap's loyal ally and do battle with the beasts. Easy. you remain at Ahewan's side and render unto him what aid you may. I know not what lies ahead, but without you, Radzetan will not survive. Take me with you. I am as at home fighting in the air as I am on land. Take me with you. Were my words unclear, I require no assistance. Thy place is at Archimon's side. Estinia, here. The last thing you ever wanted, a Link Pearl. We'd gain much from knowing your elevated perspective. And it'll keep you from getting lonely, which I know you love. <laughs> you heard the man. Seems I'm coming with you after all. Then I pray thy grim design. Be it on thy head if thou dost chance to. Shall we? I fear it is as Vitra says. We will not survive this on our own. While I am loath to impose upon you again, I would insist if you did not. Tis the very reason we have come. Then once more I find myself without words to thank you properly. Let us return to the capital and plan our next course of action. Enhanced Divine Veil. That adds a healing element to it, I believe. Level 88. We're almost capped, and the final days have officially begun. Thus, will we call it a stream for tonight? The next time you see, the next time I uh, return to streaming, should be Friday afternoon, because I'm gonna be with the boys tomorrow, and we gotta record. So 
going to be a long day, but it's going to be a good day. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for joining me. And until next time, keep safe, keep faith, and by the 12, pray for, pray for our world.